Yes, this is Micah Johnson. Micah, what's happening, man? Man, great to be here, man. Great, great to, to see here. you. Well, we're going to dive into your story. Played in the big leagues, played pro ball, all that, mm -hmm. and now you're a big time artist. And CY is your biggest fan. No, so I'm basically <laughs> falling out of this interview, man. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. CY's been a, a good supporter, man. It's it's cool to be back in in, in the mix with the, with the game. Man, what I love so much about your story is that it's a lot of players who have other aspirations sure. while they're playing the game, but very few can succeed at the major league level and succeed off the field. You made it to the big leagues. I know, don't even try to throw it in there like, hey, my career was this or that. You made it to the big leagues. That's what matters. I want to dig into how this all became possible. When you were with the oh, Dodgers, hold on, okay, here we go. It, oh, look let's look get a little it, big league time, man. Yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't just a nobody, oh. man. I, did, I, I so messed Mike around. Mike tries to short himself a little time, Harold. So, oh, I just made it to the big league. Look at how little stocky strong you are. You <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No more, man. AT got me right in the weight room. <laughs> oh, <I'm telling> you. <laughs> So that, that player becomes this person right here who makes some of the best art that honestly I've ever seen. It's, it's, it's increased, extremely inspirational for me, the story behind Aku. But let's get into how this all happened. You're going into spring training with the Dodgers. Dave Roberts is making a speech. Hey, for all the new players that are around, tell us what kind of talent set you have. Okay, Michael, what do you have? You know, oh, I can I can paint a little bit. Oh, you can paint. You say that in a major league <laughs> clubhouse. <laughs> Show us. Show us. Show so, us so he says, okay, go home and pay something. Go pay Mari Wills yeah. for us. You come in with a painting of Mari Wills, and then some of the veterans take notice. Where does where does that – how does that transfer to where you are now? I mean, so I, I always say this. Like, the big thing about that moment was that I never really painted before. I got nervous up there, right? <laughs> so I played piano, and I didn't want to – you know, Dave, the role in the piano, had me play the piano. So I just said painting, you know, because I had done that in the off season a little bit. But when I presented that painting – this, and this is, this is like, you know, I, I, I talk about this all the time, is like the words of encouragement that people gave me when I revealed that painting. Because, you know, sharing your art is a vulnerable experience. And, right. you know, these guys I look up to, we had some, the, the, team, the team was loaded, you know, and they were like, hey, man, this is good. You got talent. That's all I needed. Like, that's the only motivation I Who needed. Who are those guys? Adrian Gonzalez, mm. you know, Justin Turner. You know, those guys came over, took time out of their day to so come up. So, they had to turn around and say, man, this is raggedy. I'm done. You would be done. I'm done. But that, that, that shows you the power of words, man, and, and, and like, positive affirmation. That you, like, yeah. you see someone that puts a lot of work into something, if you just say something nice, it could change their whole trajectory. So, how many how many kids? I mean, this stuff is really amazing. Thank you. Um, well, first of all, I was going to ask you how many kids will come up and talk to you about this, but I'll ask you that in a second. Tell us about exhibits. How can people find this stuff and see it? Yeah, so I do a couple things. You know, I exhibit, you know, my, my physical works, my paintings, you know, across, you know, all over the place, you know, different exhibits, Art uh, art Basel, you know, different shows in L.A. Uh, but I also do, you know, digital work and, and, and I created a character, Aku, that's more focused on, you know, empowering kids to dream. And so that's coming out in a series of uh, exciting media uh, properties over the next couple of years. So uh, I kind of just do it all, trying to get this, the message out there. Yeah, tell us a little bit about how Aku came about and how you use Aku to help inspire, inspire the next generation. Yeah, so you look at my paintings and, you know, so they, they really are in like these nice galleries and you know that cost some money so it's like how can I spread the message of you know uh, limitless dreams in a more you know uh, scalable way and that's how I created came up with this character Aku that could be used across you know different media properties apparel sculptures you know different things like that that people can see uh, more, more readily Man, I love that. And and for any all the players that are here, like I like we said earlier, a lot of players have aspirations of finding their other talents that they have, with baseball being the number one talent and the number one goal that they're trying to reach. How is it that you're able to balance the two? For yeah. you to be able to excel at both, how are you able to balance the that's two? That's a great question. I think the main thing I would tell them is when you're in the game, like that's that's the priority. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. And I still I think I, you know I, I don't really talk about it, but I think one of my biggest regrets is that uh, I, I cut myself short in the game I loved, you know, and and I went and did art, but I still got a couple of years left in the in the tank, you know. Mm -hmm. And so the one thing I would preach to them is like when you're in this, you have this opportunity at this level, you worked your whole life for it, make them rip that jersey off, and then then focus on, you know, go full at it and take that same lessons and energy that you put into the game into your next thing. And that's what I've done. You know, that's yeah, why I've been right. able to I'm, go. I'm glad you didn't get that Shohei Otani contract, because we may not see the art, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't have minded it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all take that, that's for sure. Hey, so last question. I, I was going to ask you, how many kids have approached you 
about how they might get started? How do you pick your paints and different things like that? It's really cool. This past summer, uh, we did this thing. I wanted to give away 5,000 Aku backpacks to kids across the country. And that's the first time I really got in front of kids. And I didn't know what to expect. And it, it was really shocking the way that kids really gravitated towards the art, this art side of things. And a lot of kids started showing me their art. And so I just like to be a conduit, you know? I'm still learning about this, about art and all that. So. Uh, it's really inspiring to see these kids that come up to me from all walks of life talking about sports, but also really diving into the art side. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, and, and last one for me, I mean, I'm going to continue to follow your career <laughs> moving forward, that. man. I'm a huge fan. What does the future hold? What does the future hold for you and, and Aku? Man, I think I literally wake up every day thinking I can do anything, man. And I really want to be the best, you know, artist, get this character everywhere. Uh, I really bleed that every day, and I work. I work like that, um, just like in baseball. You know, not the most talented guy, not the best artist, but wasn't the best player. But I, I'm gonna work and, and get there. So I'm just gonna continue to work, and every day put the put one foot in front of the other, and the rest will take care of itself. Yeah, man. Very well said, Michael. Thank you, man. Well, Keep going. It. How does people find your work? You got. Well, you know how Instagram, I guess, is the way that people go <laughs> these days. Right. So there I'm on go. Instagram. So look it up. It's, it's fascinating. Look it there up. There you go. Look it's it right there on the screen. You can look it up and figure it out how to find his work and what an inspiration. Thank I appreciate you. you guys.